Hi there and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers video. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of these amazing clock-esque patterns made out of a colourful wave selection that I've been using in a lot of my latest animations. To do this we're going to need to use um, one of the videos I've already done on my channel which is how to make a wave and once you've understood how to make the wave you can then have a go at making one of these. So here's the wave that I've made earlier. You can see it gets bigger as it goes across and eventually becomes the size of a circle. I've coloured it in with the rainbow colours. Okay, We're going to use this to create this pattern. Now to do that we're going to be doing a lot of layer duplications and some rotations etc. So the first thing we do is select all the layers. To do that we click on the top layer, we press shift and we click on the bottom layer excluding the background. We then right click the mouse and click duplicate layers and click OK. You've now got a copy of each of the layers from the wave. We use this, we can go to our edit menu and we go to transform and then we go to flip vertical which will copy our wave pattern exactly over the top of the one we've already got and you can see there's beautiful symmetry now. And what we can do is use this pattern to create all the symmetry in this design here. So I'll show you how to do that. It's quite straightforward but a little bit complicated at the same time. It's got this lovely little overlap with the colours in here that you'll notice as we do the design. So we need to do the same thing again. We need to click on the top layer, go all the way down to the bottom layer, right click, duplicate layers, click OK and it will now say copy free. We then come up to the edit menu and we go to transform and we go to rotate and we're looking to rotate them by 60 degrees. Okay. It will take a little while for it to process. Press enter. Watch the little transform control bar go across and then you're done. Now, because we've got these all highlighted, because we just copied them, we go to right click, duplicate layers again, click OK. And we do the same thing again. We're going to go to transform rotate another 60 degrees and press enter enter and wait for it to process and you will see we have our pattern emerging like so okay that looks amazing like that you can see the flower of life in here and all sorts of colors happening but to take it one step further to it's like that we could carry on doing the same process and move it by 30 degrees or we could try and be clever and use all the layers in one big heap so we click on the bottom one and the top one so we see oh click on the top one scroll down to the bottom so now we've got all the layers selected right make sure you click shift and hold shift down so they'll go light gray right click duplicate layers click ok and then we go to edit, transform, and this time we rotate 90 degrees. And wait for it to transform. And there we are, there's our pattern. And you can see this is absolutely incredible. Now, because we've kept all the individual layers, we can use those to make all sorts of animations, etc. You can see we've got many different layers here. So if I go to window and I go to my timeline, and I come over here to where it says create frame animation, click on it, and then over here where the three lines are, and I go to make frames from layers, you can see it will create a whole variety of different versions of an animation, like so. And to do all that onto a black background, which will look really cool, we click on this layer, and go on to the background layer, hide the background for a minute and then reopen it. No, it doesn't want to do it today. So you go on each one and add the background in. If I do that to all of them in one go, that'd be a lot easier. And if we look at what our animation looks like now, we can see we've got the waves happening, we've got the circle happening. We've got them rotating 
and we're creating a whole different little animation here, which is incredible. We can do all sorts of animations. And um, I'll go back to the original video. I'm making a video. And um, you can see we could do something that ended up like this with our timeline. And I will show you one of the examples on here of one that we could do using the similar technique. So you can see here, we've got the wave appearing in the circle and I've duplicated that nine times to create this wave within waves pattern. I'm fascinated by this at the moment and I've done several videos that explore it. Okay, so we'll come back to Photoshop and um, there you go. All sorts of things we can do with waves. Going back to our little animation here and you can have all sorts of fun with it. I might actually add the white circle to all of them so it should say at the top circle and if I add that to each layer it might make the animation look a little bit more interesting. Like so. And you can see the animation moving around making all sorts of cool things. So what we would then do, we would go File, Export as, and we could save it as a GIF or I'll do it a quicker way, right? Come on. It's going to take a little while to process export all. Save it into my documents. And that will keep it as a PNG. And then also what I will do once it lets me is I will go file, export render video. This will again take a little while to do. And once we have rendered the video, click render. Again, that will just take a little while to process. Go back onto my channel. And also, if you're enjoying watching these animations, you can see lots of them on my channel. And I have a whole, whole playlist of wave animations, which you can have a look at here while it wait for it to render. So these are all the different wave animations that we have been working on. Here, so you can see there's this one, which has been viewed many times, which is very exciting. And we've got the original ones here, which is like the creation one, which we're doing a similar version now. So hopefully, whilst we've shown you those, go back to this one. If I go back to Photoshop now, almost finished exporting. And obviously while it's exporting, if you are enjoying the work that I'm doing, I really appreciate your support and give it a thumbs up down here and also hit that subscribe button. Okay, hopefully we're nearly there now. And yeah, it is saved. So if we go to just play it one more time, you'll be able to see the new animation that we've created there. all over the place, these waves. Okay, I'll finish all that off for you and probably paste that as a short in the future. Okay. So, like I say, thank you very much for watching all my videos that we've been making over the last six months. And obviously, if you enjoy it, hit that subscribe button. And if you tick the bell, you'll be notified when I make any new videos. Okay. So, thank you very much again for all your support. And have a lovely day and enjoy the sunshine. Goodbye.